Uh, now the next one's a phone conference as well. Tourism Industry Aotearoa, Steve Hanrahan. Uh, good morning, Steve here. Steve, welcome. Uh, thank you, Mia. You can, can you hear me okay? Yes, we can all hear you. So we've got all of the councillors here, bar one at the moment who's um, late on. So thank you. Great. Right. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, thanks very much for the opportunity to present. Um, my name is Steve Hanrahan. I'm the advocacy manager for TIA, Tourism Industry Aotearoa. Um, TIA is the peak body for the tourism industry in New Zealand. Um, we have around 1,500 members representing a range of tourism-related activities, including hospitality, accommodation, adventure attractions, airports, airlines, and so on. Uh, there's one point I'd like to speak to in our submission, um, and that's in support for the additional funding for Christchurch NZ. NZ. It is pleasing to see that Christchurch NZ will receive over 10 million from the Council to enable it to carry out a range of activities and we're supportive of the Council providing Criteria 10Z also with additional funding of 1.4 million to establish a dedicated seed fund for major events on behalf of the city, support new events through sponsorship and test feasibility of new concepts. We consider events as one of the best tools to encourage people to visit, particularly outside of the peak season. Scheduling events outside of the peak summer season means the city is able to purposefully attract visitors to spend their money during the shoulder and off seasons. And this seems to also align with the Christchurch visitor strategy in targeting the right visitors at the right time. TIA has many of the major hotels as, as, their member, as our member. Um, there's some concern among some of the hotel sector about a potential current oversupply of accommodation in the city as more supply has come online and there is a lag between major infrastructure coming online to, fill, uh, to support filling the accommodation. So the additional funding to bring events in to fill the accommodation supply over the quieter periods will be very welcome. We have looked at most draft long-term plans over the um, last few months and responded to 67 uh, long-term plans to date. And we've been pleasantly surprised to see that tourism is featured prominently in many of the LTPs as an important part of economic development strategies. I say this also in the context that many regions are looking at ways to attract visitors outside of their peak season, and, uh, and it's events as a popular strategy so to support this. So the additional funding for Christchurch will help to um, position Christchurch well in terms of competing for events um, and attracting people uh, to Christchurch. Just to comment on domestic tourism, the, as you, the domestic market um, may feature prominently in the strategy. As you may already know, the domestic spend is bigger than international spend in, um, in New Zealand visitors. So domestic spend makes up about 60% of the $36 billion that all visitors spent last year. Events are a good way to attract the domestic visitor market. Doing something different, like an event or something they haven't done or seen before, is the second biggest motivator for taking a domestic break, uh, the first one being visiting friends and relatives. Um, and just a final comment. Um, just in regards to the tour tourism um, industry has a tourism growth framework called Tourism 2025. Um, and one theme of 20 Tourism 2025 is value over volume. Um, and in Tourism 2025, events are a good way for regions to attract high value visitors and to, uh, to boost demand for accommodation and other services outside the high, high season. So this strategy in Christchurch is consistent with, um, with the national uh, growth framework as well. So just, some, uh, just really a short and uh, brief comment that I just want to make in support of the additional funding for Christchurch NZ. Look, thank you very much. Um, has anyone got any questions? It appears that you have been so um, uh, succinct and um, clear <laughs> that, uh, that there aren't any questions. But look, thank you very much for your um, submission. It's greatly appreciated. Right. Oh, thank you, Mayor. Thanks very much for the opportunity. Pleasure. Thank you.